ladies and gentlemen. Today we will be spraying some Enlist soybeans. So, I'm gonna get the sprayer ready this morning. I've gotta fill her up with fuel. Had a pretty big day yesterday, so she's low. And uh, also, I went up to Nutrient this morning. Dad on his way home there right now with a hot load, but uh, I got an empty tote of warrant because I think there's about about 150 200 gallon still left of uh non-gmo herbicide in this sprayer so what i'll do is i'll flip out the boom uh hang my outside section over that uh tote and uh shoot it out into it so we'll offload the uh chemical that's on the sprayer into that tote so we can use it you know if we want to go around field borders or whatever put the chemical in the ranger and spray it off with that just kind of handy to have and uh, we won't waste it so we'll keep it around but fill this thing up with fuel I'm gonna get this iPad and everything set up because it's a different application here um, different hot load so let's let's go ahead and start filling it first For the Enlist program, we got 32 ounces of Enlist 1, 16 ounces of Ever Pre X, 22 ounces of Mad Dog, 8 ounces of Intensity, 2 ounces of Radiate, and 64 ounces of AMS Extra. So let's go ahead and type this all in here and get this situated. Okay, so here's all my ingredients. And this is all getting sprayed at 18 gallon an acre. You're all set up and ready to go. All Even right. though you kicked me out, I got you set up. Hey, let's uh forklift, tote. I'll get in there and unload it. Boom out. <laughs> Don't worry everybody, I didn't forget. So you see here, take this, you turn that, and then I'll kick the boom on and it's gonna blow out the chemical. Run out of here. I need a pair of pliers. Since I'm kicked out of the sprayer for a little while, does that mean I'm in charge of drone duty? Yes. When am I going to be able to hop back in the uh, captain seat of that 330? Whenever you want. I want to spray a couple of fields. I like looking at the. I like looking at the crop and what it looks like. So do I. Well, it's I boring guess, sitting in I a guess, truck. I guess you can ride in a buddy seat. So. <laughs> So, the camera goes with the sprayer. You run the sprayer, you run the camera. They don't want to sit in the truck all day. They don't want to watch videos of a sprayer all day either. I'm not I mean, wrong. you don't have to record all day long in there, no, but right. it's more interesting than sitting in the truck looking at TikTok. But when you get in the sprayer, you, you start recording. <laughs> all right, well. I'll tell you what, about lunchtime, you can run it. Perfect, and yeah. Dinner, and dinner time and evening. Okay, perfect.
That's all she got, Dad. It kind of sucks that we don't have a lid for this thing. I suppose I could probably backtrack uh, my route this morning and see if it's laying uh, along the road or in the ditch, but I really don't want to do that because I gotta drive the semi. So I guess we're gonna roll without a lid for now. Light tube starting to get stained here and it's making it kind of tough to see the chemical. Well that sure didn't take very long. Now I'm in the sprayer. Dad sprayed about uh, 50 acres and uh, hopped on out so they're putting in a I think he said what a 12 inch dual wall main on one of our fields so he's uh, he's running over there just to go see how they're doing on that and uh, so he left me to the sprayer so maybe that was a mistake dad uh, you throw me in this thing and now you're not gonna be able to pull me out of it so maybe you can drive the truck for the rest of the day I drove the truck a total of uh, three miles and that's it that was plenty for me so I'm just happy to be in the sprayer so as you can see the road's looking a little funky here uh, this was one of the fields that I came in and replanted at an angle uh, with a lighter population. So that's why there's rows crisscrossing and all sorts of funky looking stuff out here. But the beans do look pretty good now. Um, it'll be anxious. No, it won't be anxious. It'll be interesting come fall time because uh, I did leave a round on this field. Um, it'd be interesting to see if there's a difference in yield between the lighter population that got frost damage that I didn't replant and the stuff that I did replant. So uh, both of the fields that I replanted, um, I left around here and I threw over there. So we'll be able to tell if it was worth it or not. All right, time for a little drone action. Area under aircraft unsuitable for landing. Yeah, I'm a better operator than this drone thinks I am. Watch this. Look at that.
I regret wearing shorts today. This tall grass. Not good. Should have wore jeans, Dad. Although it's what's the temperature? 87. Oh shoot. shoot. Nothing like getting a little chemical splashed on your hair right first. We got a leak here on the hose, so we're gonna put one of these uh what do you want to call this, Dad? Spacer? Spacer, bushing. We're gonna put one of these behind the uh, gasket. Look at that, it's teamwork. Didn't think that'd make a big difference, but man, it does. So if it still leaks, we're gonna put another one in. All right, is she gonna leak? Back in the operator's seat, so dad's in the semi, I'm in the sprayer, and I think I'm gonna roll on this thing for the rest of the day. <laughs> Holy cow! Driver was coming in a little hot. Hey, what did you think of my uh, fine operating skills? Oh, it's one. Was it? <laughs> All right. Well, you ought to know by now. Yeah. See you later. Oh, I didn't see that. <laughs> yeah. You don't want to run the sprayer for the rest of the day? No. <laughs> it's a big A. I'd have done it. Okay. See ya. Grandpa stopped by while I was waiting. Uh, Dad got one more load for the day and uh, told him to hop in and ride around. So, got him up here in the sprayer. Uh, he didn't want to take over for the rest of the day, so I guess I'll have to finish it out. I don't know if the camera is going to pick that up, but yeah, I don't know. But what I was going to show you is, is you can already see the fine line where I've already sprayed. Uh, the beans are already turning, you know, a lighter color than what hasn't been sprayed. So I went around that waterway and you can see around that waterway that's a 120 foot swath uh, of lighter colored beans than uh, beyond that. So they're turning, they're turning, we're, well, we're turning and burning and those beans are, well, they're doing the same thing. So I guess everybody's turning and burning. Now that I'm looking at them a little closer, they're already starting to like wilt. So, huh. This enlist program, this is some pretty intense stuff, I reckon. I don't know, this is the first time I've ever sprayed enlist soybeans, so. I'm new to this ball game. Yeah, let's see, oh yeah, camera's picking it up. Look at that fine line of this swath and then the rest of the beans. Every once in a while, this uh, last section here, when it unfolds, likes to get hung up. I've learned my lesson to not uh, pull on that while you're standing in front of it because, well, you could see what happened if I was standing here and I went pull. That boom could probably knock you out. It doesn't, it never actually hurt me or hit me in the face, but just kind of catches you off guard if you uh, tug there on the front side. Taking our last uh, pull off the tanker. Made a short round here so I wouldn't uh, wouldn't run out. I think I sprayed off a total of like 965 gallon on that load, so didn't do too bad. Uh, it's close enough to a thousand, so just got a couple of rounds left, and uh, we'll be done for the day. So I need a haircut. Making the last pass of this field and last pass of the day. 
Well, it's another good day of spraying all wrapped up. So that's gonna be all for this video. Um, don't forget to smash that like button, hit the subscribe, and uh, hope to see you in the next one.